Hey there, it's Rick Khan here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to run Facebook ads campaign for website traffic. Now, before we jump into how you should do this, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, running ads to website traffic isn't something I usually do because of a few reasons. And if any of these also you find your strategy isn't matching with, then I'd advise you to use a campaign that's more geared towards conversions. You see, most people who start off with advertising on Facebook, usually the beginners pick this objective. They think they want to get people to their website, a landing page or a blog. And once they're there, they'll take an action, which usually leads to zero results. And then once they notice nothing much happens with zero conversion, they wonder why nothing's happening. This is because the truth is there are only a couple of reasons you should ever use the website traffic objective, which first is if you want to send people to read an article or a blog, or if you want to target a large audience at a cheap price, then you can send them through a traffic campaign. Usually after you've done this, you could then retarget people with a conversion campaign. Again, it's not something I do, but some people do use this method and find good results. I personally think you should optimize directly to conversion objectives to utilize the Facebook's AI in the best possible way. Now, the next reason why you might want to use a traffic objective is if literally you don't have your pixel set up for conversions. And if this is true for you, I would recommend you get that set up and optimize as soon as possible. But if you don't have that pixel set up and you want to send them to a store or even Amazon, then traffic could make sense to a point. But saying that, let's jump on and show you how to run a traffic campaign. So here we are into the ads manager and all you need to do is press the green button that says create. And this will pop up over here, which is all the different objectives from awareness, traffic, engagement leads, app promote sales, find your objective. And the one you want to go for is traffic. So click the traffic and at the bottom here, you can actually name all your campaigns. So you've got three levels within the objective. This is the campaign, which is the objective of the campaign. Uh, this what's the budget of it. Also, the budget does come into the ad set. But here you'll be setting up all the different things such as placement, uh, setting up the audiences and the bottom is the ad creative, which is the actual copy of the advert you'll be creating over here with the image or even a video. So for now, for the campaign, I'm just going to put test one for the ad set. I'll just call it. This is where you'd probably target a different interest more than likely. So I'd put test interest one. And finally, the ad creative. So I'd put ad creative one so we just press continue and it should be taken to this page so again here you can see the three different levels within the objective which is campaign here middle is the ad set and at the bottom is the ad so especially that you can leave that blank it's the auction traffic you don't need to do any a b split testing and the campaign budget optimization. For me, I usually turn this off when I'm doing a test. I don't usually run the CBOs unless I know I have a winner. So switch that off and you can press next over here. So as you can see, it's already set to website. Choose where you want to drive your traffic, which is your website. You don't need to use dynamic creative. This is when you use multiple headlines, multiple images, just multiple variations of different ads here. You want to set up your budget and your schedule. Usually I just monitor my ads. I don't usually put a start or end date. I just usually start off with the daily budget for this. You can start off from as low as probably up to even a pound if you want. What I usually recommend is starting at least at five pound a day. Now here is the audience. So you can put your custom audience. If you've got any saved audiences, you can put that in there. So with custom audiences, put your lookalikes, your warm audiences. 
For this, I'm going to leave it wide open. And for the locations, you can add different locations such as United Kingdom, you can put United States, you can add United States, you can add Canada, and even Australia. It should just show up. You can also exclude, let's say you already have a list or you don't want anyone to see the ad that you have within your Facebook metrics, just exclude them here. Now with the age and gender and the detail targeting here, you can select different interests. So if you already have an idea of your interests that you want to add, you can just enter it within this if you want to, like you could add, let's say business people, business to business, B2B, I would actually recommend make sure you can understand your audience, but I leave this quite wide open. I let the Facebook to determine the audience for me. Back in the old times, I would have put lots of interest. I already have a lookalike audience, but for this website, you generally probably maybe starting off new, you probably leave all this completely open it. If you want to add a second interest, you can duplicate this and add more different interests. But for one of them should at least try one audience quite wide open here. Next automatic placements. Now I have been using automatic placements, but still I do use manual placements. But if you leave it automatic, you can again leave Facebook to optimize for you. But for manual placements, I usually remove Instagram messenger audience network. This is more of the old way of doing it. So I do leave it wide open to let Facebook determine it, but I'm going to leave Instagram alone and the ad delivery. So it's going to be, as you can see, it says landing page will deliver your ads to people who are mo more likely to click on your ads link and load it website or instant experience, link clicks, daily unique reach or impressions. So I'd leave it at the link clicks. Cost control, again, you can leave all this alone. You have show more options, but I would leave all that alone as well. Press next. Here you are at the ad level. For this tutorial, you can ignore the review one error it's because I'm not going to be placing any writing or anything inside of this part. For yours, it should disappear once you add all the information. So ad setup. If you already have an existing ad, you can add that there. If you want to new, say, say you just wanting to send them to a blog, I would generally use a single image. So single image, you can add your media, just click that and it'll show options to add your picture, your primary text. This is where people will see the written content of what you're saying to drive people to make the click. So for this, I'll just write test but once you write this out it will show up on the right hand side as a preview your headline again something to capture their attention something to drive them to want to click you can put your headline in there description you can add that call to action i generally leave this at learn more uh, it's pretty much quite easy if you're making getting people to download products or anything i would say go to a conversion campaign website just enter your URL where you want to send the people and you can leave everything alone if you do have Google Analytics set up you can put your URL parameters in here and you should have everything your your pixel set up once you do all this all you need to do is click publish I'm not going to publish it for obvious reasons all you do is click publish and wait for the ad to be approved and it should be running. If it doesn't start running, then obviously you need to go through the steps to find out why it wasn't running. Maybe you have a disapproved ad, just change that. But other than that, that's pretty much it guys. It's pretty quite straightforward. And remember, if you have any questions, just please leave a comment below. And if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And with that said, I thank you for your time.